Vaccination in India is as old as the history of vaccines itself. From the world's first plague vaccine, developed at the Plague Laboratory in Mumbai in 1897, to eradication of the deadly smallpox in 1979 following extensive vaccination campaigns and the recent success in the fight against polio, India has always been a part of the vaccination progress story. The country launched its Universal Immunization Program UIP, in 1985 with six childhood vaccines. Life-saving vaccines have been among the greatest inventions of the 20th century. Today, India is on the verge of becoming polio-free, reaffirming the benefits of vaccination for infants and adults alike. India is now focused on reducing deaths from measles. Currently, 47% of the global child deaths from measles occur in India. In a three-year campaign starting 2010, 118 million children were immunized with a second dose of measles vaccine. As a result, death from measles has reduced from 100,000 a year to a projected 64,000. The target is to eliminate measles by 2020. Through another campaign, over 100 million children have been vaccinated against Japanese encephalitis or JE in 118 JE endemic districts. JE and measles second doses are now part of routine immunization. We have seen tremendous results in the past. For instance, uh, about 85% uh, uh, dip in morbidity on account of uh, the seven vaccine preventable diseases that we protect our children against uh, through vaccines. A newly introduced pentavalent vaccine replacing DPT now offers additional protection to children against hip pneumonia and meningitis. Yet, out of 27 million children born in India every year, some 7.2 million remain unvaccinated, thus carrying the risk of life-threatening vaccine-preventable diseases. The reality is that these children are the most marginalized children of India. The harder to reach because of access, because of geography, but also because they have very little access to essential services. And these include, of course, urban slums, uh, construction sites, brick kilns, uh, remote areas, inaccessible areas where, where there is a shortage of HR. So it is absolutely essential that we reach out to all of these children with life-saving vaccines. But reaching all children requires improving routine immunization services to a level that can rapidly increase DPT-3 coverage from the current 72% to at least 90%. And therefore, all of us have to make a very concerted uh, bid to make sure that uh, we, we improve coverage substantially uh, for routine immunization. And that would uh, mean that we bring much greater, sharper attention uh, to underserved, unserved areas. India is now applying lessons and achievements of the polio eradication into routine immunization. For example, 400,000 settlements of hard-to-reach migrant, marginalized populations identified during polio eradication, but now focused for routine immunization. I think we really need uh, to do some out-of-box thinking, rejuvenate our program, revitalize our efforts, uh, and really make sure that communities are reached. To reach communities, a new communication campaign has been launched. Vaccine delivery vans have been painted with immunization messages. Strategies such as special immunization weeks, cold chain innovations, mother and child tracking, sustained social mobilization and convergence among different government departments and partners are keys to increased coverage. In call to action on child survival and within uh, child health, making sure that all our children receive the important vaccines of course, is a very, very important strategy. In, in order to sustain this effort on the long run in India, we need to build routine immunization as part of the system. Only then we will be able to improve child survival rate in the country. And our children get the opportunity they deserve to live, grow up and be what they want to in life.